Hey, nice to see you guys again. Um, just a heads up, I did upload a video of uh, live feeding of red runner roaches, so remember to check that out. So in this video, uh, we'll see these guys take out fruit flies. I think it's a bit more interesting to see them capture these flies in the outworld, but uh, there's a little bit of an issue with that. However, I'll consider a future video, so um, stay tuned for that. For those of you that is wondering why I dropped the flies directly into their nest, um, it's because uh, I tried dropping it into the outworld and because the flies can climb smooth surfaces and the ants can't, it causes a lot of problems, uh, mostly inconvenience. I tried it before and uh, it was a really great experience. Um, I can do uh, pre-kill but it's a bit messier and um, more importantly I kind of like giving them the ability to practice hunting. And I think it's kind of fun to watch. <coughs> I originally got these hiding fruit flies uh, from my carpenter ants, but I um, found out that they don't really like them all that much. Uh, maybe one day they'll eat it. Um, however, uh, this is where these ants come in because they love them. And they're uh, saving me from being run by these flies. So unlike uh, red runner roaches, uh, these workers do notice that these flies are obviously smaller and easier prey. Uh, they're a lot bolder and I do notice that especially when uh, hunting these flies, they use their stingers more like forks. As I mentioned in the red runner video, uh, to scoop or to impale the flies into their mandibles as opposed to injecting them with venom as I think the ants also realize uh, these guys are not worth uh, the waste of venom. You'll probably see that a lot more when they're uh, hunting these guys in the outworld. Alright, so what are we seeing here? Um, that I'm learning how to use uh, the panning to move left and right. <laughs> but um, most of all, you get to see how much um, the colony has grown. And remember, um, uh, just a couple months back, that there were only like three of them. And it was looking kind of shady. Um, so the substrate uh, I'm using there is uh, excavator clay because I find out uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, it, it's not dirty, like it doesn't leave anything permanent on the walls or uh, any um, things seeping into the surrounding formicarium. It's also a great uh, media or substrate to uh, for the ants to use for their larvae to spin cocoons around. Uh, it's a pretty, I, I, I would recommend it personally, but um, maybe there's something better out there. I don't know. Alright, so uh, you can also see here uh, the brood uh, on the left side, uh, kind of blurry. Is um, well, you see a lot more clear later, but uh, one of the workers is handling the eggs. <laughs> you can see the ants uh, falling off from the ceiling. They can't; they don't have the best of grips. Uh, do you see them hanging up there sometimes? Uh, they don't have a. I think they're also heavier ants, and so they're. Uh, they find it harder to uh, defy gravity, like uh, for example the smaller carpenter ants. Um, yeah, you see the larvae. Huh? I, you know, I'll, I'll probably never get tired of seeing the larvae. They're always very pretty interesting to watch, and a bunch of cocoons. Unlike carpenter ants, for the cocoons, you can't really tell which one's old and which one's new. You know, in order to uh, kind of guesstimate when um, they'll be closed. I don't think I'll ever get tired of watching the larvae getting fed. Um, I honestly think that uh, these kind of ants, uh, categorized under simple term uh, meat ants, have it harder than say sugar ants like carpenter ants because uh, they even have to hunt and break down their prey to feed their larvae. Uh, they have uh, very small social stomachs and so the prey must be brought right into the nest and fed directly to the larvae. They have to dismember the prey, break into small pieces, mash it up, and make sure that the larvae don't somehow drown in their own food. And also to make sure that the larvae, each and every single larvae is eating and to make sure to clean up after them so uh, none of them uh, develop any kind of mold or whatever is from leftover rotting food.
Hey, thanks for watching once again. Um, I hope I see you guys next time. Later.